Here we live through the proof. Eventual manipulations, sudden weather changes, earthquakes, volcanoes, tornadoes, cyclones, hurricanes, tsunamis, excessive rains, floods, droughts, aquifer depletion, crop failures, food shortages, lower nutrition density in food, contaminations in raw and processed foods, unable bodies, infertility in human, animals and seeds, weak immunity, receptive to diseases, higher cost of healthcare, highest cost of energy in all forms. More gallons, nano dust, and chemtrail operation graphene skies, worldwide Auschwitz. Eventual steps, disconnection of soil system and plants by killing microbes. It started from soil degradation, plowing, inundation, bearing seed manipulation, hybrids, GMOs for one time used to hold control. Um, I, I spoke about how South Africa doesn't have seeds last time, and many people didn't understand what I was talking about. The country is currently making all its uh, staple foods on what are called genetically modified seeds. Monsanto! Uh, yes, most of which are disabled from reproducing. Mm. Most of which, even if they did reproduce, they would slowly reproduce less and less. Uh, these, this stop. means that we need Please to... Stop. People don't understand this. A seed, when you plant it, yeah. has an ability that when it bears fruit, the fruit can give you seeds that can be replanted. Yes. You are saying there are genetically modified seeds where it will give you fruit, maybe even with pips, but they cannot grow into anything. Some of those seeds are genetically engineered to have what is called a genetic use restriction technology that if you try to replant it next season, it won't replant. <laughs> but more importantly, when you plant it, this genetically modified plant, first time around, when it can still reproduce, it has a power to cross pollinate and the pollen will go all across the country, 60 kilometer radius, and they will infect or go to an organic plant and uh, cross-pollinate that plant and turn it into a plant that's got genetic use restriction technology so that plant won't work. And they can do that again and again all across the country until they destroy the organic seeds and you're only left with these genetically engineered seeds for your food. So you have to go and buy them every year from a company that is not South African, from a Monsanto that is not South African, from a Bayer that is not South African, from a Sygenta that is not South African, putting you in slavery for so seeds. scary. And this so scary. And these companies, Lima Grain, which owns a company called uh, Seedco. Seedco, uh, Lima Grain actually destroyed all tomato seeds in Europe to the extent that right now hybrids are what are left in Europe and they sell these hybrids from anything from 60,000 US dollars a kg to 400,000 US dollars a kg. What that means is seeds cost more than a kg of gold. So if we continue to allow that happen, to happen in South Africa, very soon the companies that control these seeds can demand a kg of gold or more for a kg of seeds. And without those seeds, you do not eat. So what we're saying is, it should therefore be common sense for the government of South Africa, black South Africans, and anybody that considers themselves South African, including the Boers, mm. to make sure that they should be supporting seed producers that produce organic seed or open pollinated seeds so that we can have seeds in the hands of our farmers that reproduce for us to be able to control our food. Leveling, inundation, turning soil with plows. Use of poisons, fertilizers, pesticides, fungicides. Eradication of weeds, mechanically and chemically, weedicides restricting farmers to grow crops. Eventual results. Food scarcity, lowest quality, at highest cost. Malnourished weak and ill bodies, plants, human, animals, with low fertility. Nature took 400 million years to build sustainable food chain for life. Research took just 60 years to demolish it. Isn't it remarkable? They have made it impossible for life to sustain. PQNK will make you survive through the evil. Look at that. And when this black, which we believe to be graphene, gets on the magnet, it tends to grow. And look at that. Hold it on that thing. Oh my God, look at that. So it's heavy metals and it's also in the jam. Look at that. Look it's at that. It's one of the ingredients in the jam. So that's yeah. going into and the watch it. Now look at that. Look at it. It's literally it's the takes taking over the whole magnet. She just did a little tip, right? 
of, of this grow, magnet and it grows grow. and it's taking over the See whole the magnet. See the spiky bits? That spike protein is going in your body after the jab and that's what's going, that makes you, dehumanises you pretty much. Look at it, it's literally growing. Look at it, you can see it growing on camera. Yep. And you put it down. Now put it down, watch it grow. Watch it just take over the whole magnet. It, it would take... And it's hard to get it off the magnet. Oh, it's really hard. <laughs> look oh, at my it. finger. It's growing. Oh my gosh, it was growing on my finger. Look at that. Look at that. Hey guys, that's great, huh? It looks like a... Thanks guys. And how does this get on our beach? How? Your chemtrails. They're spraying it in the air. And when you we are breathing the this. They're putting it in the vaccines. They're putting it in our food. It's in our clothing. It's in our clothing. It's in the masks. You can literally watch this, this thing. This is why you take over. Have the vaccine. They yeah. have a magnet to the spot on their arm, and it sticks. Look at this, and I'm it's sorry, growing. It's it's catching. Yep, there's no more magnet. <laughs> but, uh, is that 